Hi guys, welcome to this episode of Married to Medicine. And I'm sorry it's a little late because I've been trying to get the other channel up and going and giving people what they want. And then when you try to give folks what they want on YouTube and on these videos and they don't go support it, it's a whole bunch of mess. But anyway, let's move on into this episode. Excuse my little bunny, my hair wet, girl. I just got out of the doggone shower and mama can't be getting sick. So, um... Anyway, on the last episode, because you know the new one come on tonight, I'm going to tell y'all today, the fr Friday, in about a couple, two, three hours. Let me look at the time. In about three hours, a new episode come on. So, I'm just now, um, well, I had already watched it, but I rewatched it because that's just what I do on um, the day a new show come on. I always start early. But anyway, I'm glad Simone and uh, Dr. Jackie was trying to get Toya together before they went out with everybody because Toya always want to bring up stuff at the wrong doggone time, a.k.a. why they call her messy. But um, anyway, <laughs> Dr. Jackie told her to go on in the bathroom and get all of that out before they left because she wasn't trying to hear no shit today. Honey, I died laughing. She told Toya to go in there and poop all of what she be on out. But I like that they told her to her face what she be on. And that says exactly right. She be on some sugar, honey, iced tea all the time. Um, Then on the bus on the way there, I'm glad that um Dr. Contessa checked Dr. Heavenly about her name because Dr. Heavenly know doggone well that lady name ain't no um Coontessa and ain't no Contessa and Dr. Heavenly know how she be in her feelings she be over there crying if um Dr. Contessa told her to uh have a, a drink of uh coffee because everybody know Heavenly wasn't drinking coffee or said something like that to shade her you know she'd be all up in her feelings or whatever but anyway moving on um 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 I'm gonna need Dr. Jackie to get up and um and, and just cut cut the BS. Everyone goes goes through um stuff. And she she has, but she don't wanna act right when anyone else has anything going on. She over there laid out on this boat like she about to faint. And I'm gonna need her to get up and just cut the damn act. Dr. Jackie. You gon' you about to go across this doggone swamp and you about to like it today. If you don't like it no other day. I'm so tired of her being Debbie Downer every time somebody have something. She gonna have to cut that out because this done got old. She acts like a little kid when it comes to somebody else doing stuff. But then when she have something, she want everybody to be professional on their A game. Even though they don't, they do have an argument. But at least they don't be laid out on the floor just not wanting to be there. At least they go. They may act a nigga when they get there, but at least they go. But anyway, um, she needs to stop doing that. She don't never want to participate in nothing nobody else doing. And like Dr. Simone uh them said, can you not uh can you can you lose control or not go to one thing that you ain't controlling and over? That she just annoys me with that. But anyway, um, maybe one of them alligators will bite Toya in her doggone butt. So she'll, she'll sit down and shut up, start flopping around this boat like a wet fish on dry land. And, um, she, um, and then did, um, quiet called the snake or whatever that was, morale. Uh, I'm like, now see, there y'all go. You throwing shade. I'm be calling people names because everybody on this on this boat and everybody on this show know how they be in their feelings. So they don't need to be calling nobody no doggone name. Cause you know somebody call you homeless or uh, say something about your your friends and your family. Y'all know how y'all like to act on these reality TV shows. So honey, don't be saying nothing. But honey, when Dr. Simone and Dr. Jackie Sitting on there talking about Toya say like I'll tell you one thing about them too. They may talk about you, but they'll talk about you to your face. That's what I'm talking about right there. If you're gonna say something, say it to your face. But anyway, down to the Lucifer suite. That was the perfect place for morale because, honey, that lady evil. I when this show first started coming on, I love me some Mariah. But then when she brought her mama on the scene, it the things just turned for the worst for me. She they got that her head geeked up. But, um, no one but Messy Toy was happy to see Poe Morale and Morale looking crazy and was like, nobody happy to see me. Did nobody want to lie in her face and be like, honey, no, we don't even want you here. We was really trying to have a good time before you came. Um, but, but she, um, I understand why she invited Toy because they was having this whole black girls little rock little thing. 
And the whole marriage to medicine thing started because of Mariah. Mariah is the one that started it, but she kept up so much drama because she is an exec executive producer, but she kept up so much drama at, that nobody would film with her no more. And they ended up kind of phasing her out of the show, but they have to record with her because the show concept was her idea. It's basically her, her show and nobody likes it. I mean, so anyway, the show was supposed to be completely based around her. And these were supposed to be a show about her and her friends and her life. But morale messed up. And I'm going to just say it. She did. Her attitude, the drinking, her her mama was 50% of the problem. And all the other ladies de developed a fan base. I'm going to tell you, I grew to love the other ladies. I even like Carrie. I like seeing Carrie. Do y'all remember the white lady that was on there named Carrie? I loved seeing her on Tyler Perry show, um, The Have and the Have Nots. And y'all best get ready because y'all already know I'm about to be up in here talking about that. But anyway, she got phased out. Um, but, um... Oh, contestant Dr. Heavenly gets into it. Y'all, Dr. He Heavenly full of mess. I wasn't even feeling what she was trying to um, talk to Quad about. It. I don't want to hear nothing else about Quad and having this doggone baby. Quad, a grown woman. She knows she need to have a baby. And if she ain't got sense enough to have a baby, then so be it. Leave it alone. Move on from it and get over it because I don't want to hear nothing else about it. Uh, it the, the way the lady husband had act, I wouldn't want to have one either. But anyway... Dr. Contestant's right. Heavenly can't never dish what she put now. And I was so happy when Dr. Heavenly didn't back down, was telling her to shit up and all of that kind of stuff. And then Dr. Heavenly go, ooh, ooh, she mad. She ready to fight. So, Dr. Uh, Contessa is the one that you want to fight with, honey. She military trained. She about to go on and walk you like a dog. So go on and run over there. You can't bully her and intimidate people. Because I'm ain't I'm i not going to lie to you. I feel like Heavenly has got by, by before using her size and her math as intimidation towards the other people. You know, she lost a little weight. So si size ain't on on. on her side anymore and then now uh she got somebody that don't back down from her mouth and i'm you know it's what need to been done and i'm glad she did and then heavenly do stuff to people she be mean and then she always try to go baby like oh huh? i didn't mean it yeah you mean it you mean it when you do it and then when you hurt people you try to do that and i'm really tired of her doing that it's oh but I think Contessa is the right one to do it. And I'm glad they didn't let her leave and that they talked her into staying because y'all see what Dr. Heavenly did. Contessa, I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry, hon. <laughs> Heavenly got that magic that you want to take your cast iron skillet and just bap right, her, right in her face. Dip. Bap right in the face. I I can't with her. Not mm -mm. so now then we finally get down to everybody talking to Mariah. This cold water thrown in everybody's face. I'm gonna say quiet is to Mariah like candy is to Portia. I mean I don't know why Toya try, uh, trying to force it. Talking about it. She thought this was a good time for everybody to talk like they gonna come make up with Mariah and be friends. Toya just trying to get some hell started. And she done even been into a fist fight, got beat up by Mariah and her mama, and she still ain't got sense enough to uh know when to They all finally had a little talk with Mariah, which went really nowhere. Um, everybody disagreed that they all have issues with her, but it really it's like Dr. Simone said they all gonna have to sit down and just talk one on one with Mariah. But you know, Quad can't let hers go. She got to go on to say what she gonna say. And Mariah already quick to say, <laughs> this not about to be just the, the same conversation that went nowhere going around and circle point and blame with Quad. Like, yes, it is, honey. You said I was, you said the Quad was homeless. She was like, you said the Quad, Quad was homeless, honey. Quad, Quad is not homeless, honey. Miss Mariah, no ma'am, Miss Mariah, cause Quad is not homeless, honey. So, Quad, in her feelings about this homeless statement, and to me, is it true, Quad? Was you homeless? 
Cause to me, that ain't mad. That ain't enough to stay mad at somebody this long. Like Candy and Portia. Now, what Portia did to Candy, that's something for us to be mad at for for some years. But her saying that you was homeless to me, but to each his own. Now, let me hush, cause to each his own. But I, to me, it ain't that big of a deal that y'all ain't even recording together. Uh, y'all ain't friends, friends or nothing. Cause she, the comment she made, if if you was homeless, hell, you was homeless. We all been through things. Lord, I pray I don't be homeless, but I can't sit here and lie to you and say that I won't. But if my friends go tell folks I'm, I was homeless, I'm going to be mad about it. But I can't, I'm, I'm not going to sit there and lie to the people like, I was never homeless. Girl, shut up. If you was, you was. Dr. Greg done said, done told your business and said he been taking care of you since he met you. I mean, what else do you want? So anyway, they all agreed that they just going to have to sit down when they get back home to Atlanta and talk because New Orleans ain't really ain't really the place where, which it really wasn't because they trying to have a good time and they trying to turn this way too serious into something it really don't need to be. But I'm, I'm um, moving on to the next subject. I'm glad that Dr. Jackie talked to Dr. Heavily about her behavior because she is rude and how she does people is, is like the impact of being stabbed with a knife there near within an inch of your heart it hurt all the doggone same and heavenly know it hurts i want to know which one of, let, let me let me put on my doctor hat because let me come sit in my office dr heavenly who used to talk to you like that which one of your parents or your family members, how you treat people, used to treat you like that? Because a lot of times, how you act is a learned behavior. You got it from somebody or it's similar to how you was treated or you seen somebody act that way or something. So go on and share, share, spill the tea. Tell us a little bit about your life. Because you mean and you hateful. So one of your parents was mean and hateful. I mean and hateful and I know I got it from my daddy. That sucker No, he's so mean. Sometimes I want to hit him with a cast down skin. So go on and tell us which one was Dr. Heavenly. So anyway, and she was right about that. And then I'm glad Mariah got Toya together um, for inviting her on that trip. And, and not only did she surprise everybody else, she really... It really wasn't right to Mariah because Mariah really didn't know that nobody knew she was coming. You know what I'm saying? You just she she had beef with everybody there. She had issues, and you invited her and didn't tell nobody, and you brought her into that situation because that really could have went, went worse. And she was by herself. It really that really could have even went worse. So she, I'm glad she told Toy she was wrong for that. And she should have told the ladies, or she should at least told Mariah that the ladies didn't know. But um, I'm glad Quiet and Dr. Jackie talked. And I'm glad that what Quiet said soaked into Dr. Jackie's head where she can see her issues in her marriage. Like that she may have actually, it's not her fault he cheated, but that she, she contributed or that she wasn't perfect in the relationship, that she was doing things wrong. Because Curtis feels like quiet in the relationship. And a lot of the things that quiet is saying is some of the, some of the ways that Curtis feel. And now Dr. Jackie is understanding. And I think this is going to help Dr. Jackie see where she needs to start rep repairing things with Curtis, because I don't think she should divorce him. And I'm going to just be honest with you as a married woman, if this is his first time cheating and y'all ain't never had any real issues. And considering the fact that y'all have you know, he has tried to talk to her and she has tried to talk to him or however that they have something to work on because they, when you've been married that many years, things happen. You can't expect the relationship to be perfect forever. It's so many women that say, if he cheated on me, everybody is not hard and cold like that or, or can change and turn their feelings off like that. And some people, some people can, but everybody cannot. And it is what it is. Long as it's not life threatening and he ain't beating on you and trying to give you HIV, uh, he ain't, you know, doing it and he's not um, being verbally abusive, you know, and there's other forms of abuse or whatever. I, I wouldn't, uh, in, in Jackie's situation, I wouldn't say to leave but I like I said personally I don't believe in telling anybody to leave a relationship like I said unless it's life threatening so anyway um 
but now J Dr. Jackie is grasping what is going on. But um, I really, you know, let me tell y'all something that bothered me. What uh, Dr. Heavenly Husband said about her in that confessional made me feel some kind of way. His excuse for how for why Heavenly act the way she act is some complete and utter BS. It's point black. It's point black and it's simple. Dr. Heavenly is rude. She has anger issues, and she need to learn how to act. His little excuse for her, I am not even trying to hear it. Then she liked to act like she didn't do anything, and um, and and how abrasive she is is not okay. And he needs to stop condoning that and letting her act like that at home. And he's supposed to be such a man, daddy, daddy, daddy. I'm I don't call no man daddy. I got one daddy, and that's the man that helped my mama create me. I do not call the man that I sleep with at night daddy because I don't sleep with my daddy. I don't even imagine sleeping with a, da a daddy. I sleep with my husband. My children have a daddy. They can call him daddy, but I don't call him daddy. I, he's my husband, not my father. I don't need two fathers, okay? And something else I'm interested in is after uh, I want to I want to know how Dr. Greg failed to see this show and see how upset Quad is. So I can't wait to the reunion show because I want to know how he felt about how upset Quad was or if he even cares. I don't even, I'm going to be honest, I don't even think the man really even care how upset Quad is. But I'm interested though to see. So I'm ready for uh, to see that at the reunion show because I might have to try to get some tweets in and figure out how to tweet Andy or how to call in or whatever so I can ask the question like how he felt about it or whatever. But, um, let's see. That's pretty much where the whole show in a nutshell, um, uh, that, let's see. They talked about Dr. <laughs> Toy was talking about Dr. Simone PJ's I didn't see nothing wrong with Dr. Simone PJs. I thought she looked cute in her PJs. She didn't have to have on no sexy uh, lingerie. Why everybody got a piece toy? Did everybody have to be have on no sexy lingerie? What was wrong with their pajamas? Golly. Um, let's see. I agreed with morale. I didn't want to see them go back over everything that they been into and been mad at. And I hope we don't have to see that shit at the reunion show. Cause I don't want to see it. I'm going to get up and change the channel. I'm going to tell you now. Um, basically, to me, the situation where Mariah should be everybody apologizing for everything that they did to everybody. And, and because really, I'm going to be honest with you, all the women on this show that's into it, they're not really into it for anything really significant so i just want to see all them apologize and move on and see if they can work it out with morale but if they can't then so be it but anyway that is all that i have for this episode and i'm gonna start coming back with you to y'all with some more timely reviews um yeah, y'all know how it is when you got to have a real nine to five job and then you got you trying to do YouTube too just because you like YouTube but you ain't making no money from it like me. Like 98% of YouTubers, we ain't making no money. We just like recording and sharing information with these people out here. So anyway, y'all, I'm about to go vroom vroom and Uber a little bit, a little part time work, a little sick part time work. And, um,. I'll be back with some reviews on a couple of other shows after that. I'm try I'm gonna try to do all of those tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm just gonna try to sit down and record a buckload of shows and upload them. So I'm probably gonna have on the same outfit in like eight videos. So I don't wanna hear nothing about it. Cause people ain't gonna be getting up changing outfits, trying to pretend and fake the phone. This ain't um this ain't VH1 reality TV shows where we got a scripted scene and we gonna be trying to uh uh-uh. No, not going to happen. I'm going to be having on the same look. I might even have this on because it's a clean outfit. And I'm only going to Uber for like two hours. I just got the tub, little hair wet, everything. I smell good, look good. Look at this skin, y'all. Look at it. Boy, I have to show y'all what I put on my skin. Everybody tell me, girl, you look young. Don't tell nobody my age, child. But anyway, <laughs> hey, I see y'all in the next.